Hello again. Okay, in the previous video we covered off on increasing the energy across the x-ray tube, i.e. increasing the voltage, which gives you a greater F max. Now I'd like to talk about increasing the intensity. The intensity of the x-rays relates to how many x-rays are being released by the x-ray tube per unit time. Now, of course, the x-ray comes from an electron striking the target. The more electrons striking the target there are, the more x-rays that are going to be produced. So if you think about the more electrons per unit time, that might sound familiar, that's current. We're talking amps. So rather than just increasing the voltage across the x-ray tube, we're going to change the current. So we're going to change the amount of electrons crossing the tube. So what we do is we increase the current uh, going across the tube, the amount of electrons that are being released by the cathode and flying towards the anode. And that's going to have a specific uh, alteration to the graph. And in that case, what it's going to do is it's going to increase the intensity. Key thing is, though, we have not changed the voltage across the tube. So note that there's no change in the F max. All that's happened is the intensity has increased. Note also that we have not changed the metal target. So the characteristic X radiation peaks need to stay exactly where they are. The only time they will change is if you change the target metal. So what we've now covered is increasing the voltage across the tube and increasing the current. Voltage increase results in a greater F max. A current increase results in a greater intensity and a change in the metal target will change the location of the characteristic X radiation peaks. Thank you.